everyone so um i'm sorry i haven't been on like doing videos in like i don't know i think it's been like 10 days um i've just been going through a lot lately and just you know personal stuff that um yeah i just kind of had to deal with i hope to do some more videos like getting back on the bandwagon of kind of doing more videos so i just thought i would start off with um a video on how to grow your hair um I, ha I have really fine hair that you probably get so annoyed that i tell you guys that over and over again so in order for me to grow my hair out um it takes a lot of work um especially since if it gets dry it breaks really easily and if i br if i break my ends off my hair it looks really thin um, as opposed to someone who had a lot of hair, if, if I mean, if you have a lot, a lot of hair, or thick hair, and it breaks, you can kind of get away with it because you know you have so much hair that it doesn't really matter. But when you have thin hair, you want the most hair possible to, um, you know, to kind of grow out your hair. Um, there are a, a couple things that I found really, really helped me to grow up my hair. I just kept cutting it and cutting it. Only the, the main reason was because I didn't know how to take care of my hair. I really wasn't. I even though, mostly because I loved to experiment with my hair so I was always using heat on my hair and um, I wasn't protecting it and I wasn't using the proper like you know shampoos that I should have been using for my hair and everything so everything would dry out so I'm just gonna tell you a couple of tips that I kind of found um, work for me so hopefully if they work for me they would kind of work for you too um, this I mean you don't have to have fine hair to kind of follow these tips I just the like I, I find having fine hair is the hardest thing to um, grow out. So wash your hair every other day. Don't wash it every day. If you're washing your hair every day, it will really strip the moisture out of it. And you need you need moisture in your hair in order for it to grow healthy. So you don't want to be stripping it every single day. It's really, really harsh on your hair and it will cause your hair to break. Okay, so the next thing is I've learned is to use a really good shampoo and conditioner. Um, I've used other shampoos and conditioners like just, the, you know, drug drugstore and stuff like that. And I don't really like them. They really, I find they really dry out my hair a lot. Um, when you're looking for shampoos and conditioners, try to look for something that's sulfate free because sulfates... Um, really dry out your hair. I like to use Joico. I don't know if it's sulfate free, if Joico is sulfate free, but um, I love to use my, my Joico. Should I go get them and show you guys? Yeah, I probably should. Okay, so the shampoo and conditioner I'm using right now is Joico. I'm using the Moisture Recover um, shampoo for dry hair and then the Joico Silk Result Smoothing Conditioner for fine to normal hair. This also comes in um, normal to thick hair too this I usually just use this the shampoo and conditioner for this um, but I started using this and I like this too I, I really don't find a difference between this and the silk result shampoo so I would like to I, I like to deep condition my hair usually about once a week and I don't do my roots whenever I deep condition my hair I do from like like wherever I have ends basically I tip my head upside down and find where all my ends are and I, and I condition my ends but your hair gets oily and the oil from your scalp will condition your roots so you really don't need to condition your roots this, this is all new growth too you really want to concentrate on like the, the end of your hair you really want to take care of the older hair first if it sounds funny but you really do um because th that's going to be what's breaking is the ends and everything like that so you okay so what i do is like every three months i'll give myself a trim like i'll actually trim my own hair just because I'm really really picky and I'm like afraid somebody's gonna chop all my hair off when I'm trying to grow it out so um, I usually just blunt cut my hair um, I find if you have fine hair if you blunt cut your hair it'll make your hair I don't have very many layers and I um, actually want to try to grow my hair all one length and then kind of do a style from there I'm trying to really grow my hair out really long um, we'll see how that goes but I it's, this is the longest it's been in like forever like I'm telling you probably about four years no I've always wanted long hair I always wanted to grow out my hair I just keep cutting it and it's very very frustrating um, just because the ends would be dead and dry and everything and I'd have to cut it off so anyways so um, every three months I give it like a, a 
like a half inch trim just to get all the dead ends off and just to make the ends feel blunt and, and um, you know thicker um, I think I just feel like it stands up to more if you have like thin layers at the bottom it's more susceptible to breakage and stuff like that because you're pulling on just thinner hair I don't know if that makes sense to you guys but it makes sense to me um, when you dye your hair if you ever if you dye your hair only dye the roots um, I had the mistake before I went to a hairdresser every time I would highlight my hair she would highlight every strand so like say I would come in every couple months she would highlight from here down to the the bottom of my hair so my hair would be breaking constantly because she would use bleach on it and bleach it from my root to my tip every single time and then I went to a new hairdresser and she's like what are you talking about you only have to do your roots you just have to do the regrowth and, and I'm like wow that makes so much more sense so that way it doesn't bleach my ends all the time and my ends stay much 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 healthier um, Another thing is don't try not to dye your hair that much. If you're changing your color of your hair constantly, your hair is going to be very, very brittle and it's going to break. Um, unless you know you're highlighting or you're touching up the roots, that makes sense. So use your heat protectant when you're blow drying and when you're curling your hair or whatever. So I use the Guardian Angel, got to be Guardian Angel. I haven't really used anything other than this. If you guys know other ones that you really, really like, let me know. Um, but this is the heat protectant blow dry and then the heat protectant um, curl and you know.